Hello guys, I am David Carruthers and uh, I'll be doing another guitar lesson today. Uh, this time I'm going to be doing Under the Bridge by Red Hot Chili Peppers. Um, it, is a, it is a bit of a difficult song when it comes to like, the intro and the picking and all that, but after you get past that part, um, it is fairly simple once you get down to the nitty gritty of it. Um, so yeah, let's get straight into it. Now for the intro part, um, just getting around the picking, um, just watch my fingers as I'm picking this. Um, just to keep a close eye, I'll try and explain it the best I can. But for the first shape we're doing here, you're putting your pinky on the 5th fret of the A, you're putting your ring finger on the 4th fret of the D, you're putting your 1st finger on the 3rd fret of the G, and you're putting your middle finger on the 2nd fret of the B. This is this shape here. Now watch my fingers and I'm plucking the outside ones here and I'm plucking the inside ones. So just watch here, watch my fingers. <laughs> to the bass kind of bit, we're just going to be doing a kind of like walking up from the A to the E. From the A we're doing 4 to 0 and going into the low E 4 to so it's I'm walking from that bit into the next part um, it's just this one where you're barring the second fret with your first finger you're putting your ring finger and your pinky finger on the 4th fret of the A and the D and you're putting your middle finger on the 3rd fret of the G and you're basically doing the same picking pattern we are moving it uh, down a string so your thumb is on the low E so let's see how this goes so you're just basically want to look for this sound same, you're just plucking the outside strings and then plucking the inside one and then the walking bass kind of going down for this one, kind of the bass line, so that's going uh, onto the D, that's going 4, 2, 0, using your pinky onto the A, 4, 5, so that's, that's, that's 4, 2, 0, 4, 5, going from the D to the A, so let's see that. So, and that's making sure that you can get back into this position. So the next part of the intro is this position. So let's see how that goes. So let's just go back into it. We'll just do a quick round up. And then for the next section, you're just going doing this again, doing the same shit you've done. And then for this section, you want to slide this position on your uh, that you're doing right now for the first, like for the first position, the intro, and you want to slide it down a tone. You want to send down two frets basically. So it sounds like this. So you get that sound that you're looking for. And then you want to go back into this shape here. And that's basically the intro. Let's quickly go through it and we'll see how it sounds. First here, um, basically going to go into doing a bit of uh, bar chords. Um, first off, we have this E, which is basically first finger over the seventh uh, fret. And you're barring the um, you're barring the D, uh, G, and B, and you're muting the. Then you move into this kind of B chord here. Move into this kind of B chord here. So. So, from here where your B is, where your ring finger and your pinky are, you're going to slide them from the 9th to the 11th. So, and then from there, you're going to be barring the uh, 
G and the B on the ninth fret. So that's just there from there. And then from here, uh, use your ring finger and your pinky finger to bar the um, the uh, sixth fret on the A and D, and use your first finger to bar the um, fourth fret on the G and B. And you're basically doing that same shape for the B, but you're putting it up a tone. Could be an A. So you're basically doing an A shape here. So let's go for that again. And for the next part of the verse, which is basically the whole verse, it's just the two part. It's the same thing basically, so it's just the the E and B, but instead of sliding down, you're going to be doing the kind of same shape you're doing up here for, on the fourth fret, but um, you're going to slide your pinky and ring finger down to the eleventh fret on the A and D, and you're going to be barring the G and B on the ninth, and you're basically doing the A shape. Again after that. So quickly the verse is and that is the verse. Um, you do that two or I think it's two times over and then afterwards to end going into the next verse it is a E major seventh you're just doing a um, barring your finger over the seventh fret, uh, making sure you're not touching the low E, and you're basically going seven, eight, so you're doing that, uh, yep, you're doing seven, nine, eight, nine actually, making this shape, you're making a D, kind of making a reverse D shape on the seventh. And now for the chorus bit after the verse, well, this can last the pre chorus. Uh, we're going to be doing this F sharp minor chord here up on the uh, up on the ninth, actually. Ninth, apologies. Uh, making this shape. And then we're going back to the E. Then we're using the uh, using the verse. And then after that, uh, we're going to do this D shape actually up here on the same strings, but instead of doing it all the way up here, we're going to shift it all the way down. So let's just quickly. Put our ring finger on the um, on the twelfth fret and putting the two fingers either side of a fret up as if we were doing a D. You want to make sure you make sure all the other frets um, and the other strings actually are muted so we only get this sound. And then after we do that, we're going back into this F sharp minor. So yeah, again, let's summarise. This is the chorus. To the outro, we're going to be going um, doing this kind of like uh, F shape with our hands, uh, but we're going to do it on from the fifth fret down instead of doing it from the first fret down. As you see here, make sure we keep this the high E string muted and keep making sure we keep the other strings muted as well. So we're going to be doing this F shape from the from the fifth, obviously. So we're going. And then as we keep our ring finger on the 7th, we're going to be moving our middle finger up to where our, uh, our first finger is right now, up on the 5th. We're going to be placing that is, and we're going to move our first finger from here onto the next string, onto the 5th fret. So we're moving from here to there. So our, our middle finger is moving to where our first finger is, and our first finger is moving uh, down the string. So we're going... Part of the outro is um, we're going to be doing the same F shape as we've done down here. But so we go, bring it down. We're going to move it down a tone, so move it down two uh, fret, move it down to the third, and then we're going to do an normal F. So in 
full, that is. And for the kind of breakdown part of the outro, when it goes into the, under the bridge sometimes, um, yeah, that part, we're basically barring the, um, the 10th fret here from the D down all the way down to the, onto the high E, and we're putting our pinky on the 12th fret of the high E. So I'm basically making this one, this chord here. Then we're moving from there onto the, your first finger is now barring the 9th fret from the D downwards, and we are going to be putting our ring finger or your pinky finger, wherever you prefer, up on the 10th fret. And then we're going to be doing our a D shape almost, up on the 8th fret. So you put your ring finger on the 8th fret and you're putting your first finger and your middle finger on the fret up on either side of the string. So you're doing this D shape all the way up in the 8th. So all together that sounds like this. I think you only do that once and then you go back into the uh, the F shapes back into the outro. You do that for the rest of the outro until the end of the song. So yeah, that is all the parts of uh, Under the Bridge. Hopefully this was helpful and I hope you um, enjoyed actually learning this song, I know I did. Um, thank you for watching and see you later.